Question 4a. Radiation is used to treat tumors cancer. The source of the radiation can be inside or outside the human body. Which of these has a radiation source that can be positioned inside the body to treat tumors? Gamma rays are used in internal radiotherapy such as brachytherapy where a small radioactive source such as gamma emitting isotope like iridium 192 is placed inside the body close to or inside the tumor x-ray are typically used in external beam radiotherapy radio waves and microwaves are non-ionizing and not used to treat tumors in this way therefore the answer to a question will be a gamma radiation or gamma ray question 4b figure 5 shows a pet scanner used to detect cancerous tumors a radioactive isotope is injected into a patient the isotope is absorbed by the tumor the isotope emits positrons from the location of the tumor a ring of radiation detectors rotates around the person and here is the person there patient being scanned active radiation detector this one here that rotates and here's a tumor and you can see again active radiation detector here so what is going on in this situation well we know that a positron is going to be emitted that's a, a positron here so what does PET stands for a PET stands for positron emission tomography here is the positron that is released is a positive electron and this positron will react with local electrons near the tumor so the way it reacts is annihilate each other because this is a matter that's antimatter when the two meet they annihilate each other and convert this matter into energy and so here is the energy that will be released gamma in one direction and also in the opposite direction at an angle 180 degrees so that gamma is what would be detected by these detectors here hence that's why you're rotating this to detect a gamma coming out there and another gamma coming out there or coming out there and coming out there so that's what this is doing uh, part one explain how the scan can give the location of the tumor well like we said earlier positrons and electrons annihilation annihilation means they um, disappeared and convert the matter into energy and the energies are the gamma in the opposite direction uh, two production of two gamma rays right in the opposite direction in opposite direction at an angle of 180 degrees for simultaneous detection by detectors to locate the source radiation detector gamma cameras could be used as scintillation counter five at almost the same time time you can see the gamma are released at the same time one going in one direction the other going in the other direction so that's what this is saying and six time difference give distance difference uh, as you know speed is uh, distance over time part two explain why the radioactive isotope injected into the patient must be produced near to the place where it is to be used must be used for a short time after production and therefore it will have a half-life that is short Radio see radiotherapy can involve irradiation of patients radioactive tracer can involve contamination of patients state two differences between irradiation and radioactive contamination Irradiation is exposure radiation without direct contact with the radioactive source. Contamination is the presence of radioactive material inside or on the body. So irradiation can be stopped by shielding. Irradiation source is outside the object. Irradiation stops when the source is removed. D. Figure 6 shows the decay curves of two different isotopes, Q and P. So that would be Q and this is isotope P. Activity in Baccarat, time in hours. Use the graph in figure 6 to determine the half-life of isotope P. We're starting at 100, half-life 50. So you want to go from 50 
what we want to do is yes drop 50 there stretch it down and that is 120 because that's 120 140 160 180 that's 120 so we write here 120 part two suggest a reason why the sample of isotopes could be more dangerous to humans than the sample of p well because q has longer half-life as you can see q is that one and the half-life is much longer than p the both start 150 and therefore the time would be much longer too q has a longer half-life and q takes longer to decay